the past, always behind us, but never far from our minds. It's like a roadmap to who we are. It both haunts us and heals us. But for some people, the past is what keeps us going. I didn't have my dad right away. First, it was just me, my brother, and my mom living in Virginia, and then she got in trouble, and uh, she went to jail, and it was just me and my brother living together on our own for about three to four months and just trying to survive. Chris Dunn was only nine years old when his mother, Pia, went to jail in Alexandria, Virginia. He and his older brother, John, didn't want people to know they were living on their own for fear of being separated in foster care. So it was John who, at just the age of 13, raised his younger brother, Chris. He didn't get to live that, that lifestyle as a kid, you know what I mean? Be a kid and go out and play and have fun and whatnot. He had to, he had to survive, he had to take care of me. What the boys didn't know was that their father, John Selden, who had been looking for them for years, finally had a breakthrough. He pinpointed that they were living in Virginia and drove six hours from New London, Connecticut to bring them home. I never met my father, but my brother had a couple of times throughout life, and him taking us and bringing us to a whole different type of lifestyle to Connecticut was very, it was very different, I had to adjust to you know, his rules in the house. I mean, it was hard at first. Do you remember the first memory of when basketball really made a mark on your life? It was eighth grade. It was my first time my dad was seeing me play basketball. And he just seen me take the ball and just like weaving through everybody. He seen how much I enjoyed it, that he knew that was the connection that me and him could have because he loved sports. Chris's natural talent on the court drew the attention of a young basketball coach at nearby Fairfield University, Ed Cooley. Coach Cooley was always there. Even when he was at Fairfield, he was always there. I was blessed to be given the opportunity to come into Providence to coach. I called Chris and said, it's not public yet, but I'm gonna be at another school and I want you to come to that school with me. You said recently uh, about you choosing Providence. I needed somebody who was gonna keep me fighting in life and never forget my pain or struggle. I knew he was gonna be that person. What made you feel that way about Ed Cooley? Because his background, um, he came from a, uh, a difficult background just as me. And uh, that connection, that bond right away was right there. He grew up, he was homeless. Uh, he didn't know who his father was. There was a feeling of trust there that uh, both of us have had some difficulties growing up. I knew who my mom was. I met my dad later in life. And I was totally open with Chris on trying to connect. Like, how can you connect to a past that is hard to talk about? For him to get past that adversity, you know, get past that obstacle and get to where he was right now, I knew he was gonna make sure I do the same. And so far, he's been keeping me fighting. I look at Chris not so much as a basketball player. I look at him like he's my son. With Dunn's basketball and personal life finally stable under Coach Cooley, things were looking up for Chris. But then in 2013, his mother, Pia, suddenly passed away. Is it all so very bad? That was very difficult for, for me and my brother because, I mean, we were mama boys, you know what I mean? Growing up, we loved our mom. Um, she always going to be in our heart no matter what. You what know? got you through that period? My dad was the main reason. If I had to choose one person, he was the main reason because he seen my pain. Uh, he seen me crying in the house and then he told me, you got to keep fighting and they would never be uh, forgotten. All these small things the best point guard in the country, that man right there, Chris Dunn. Chris Dunn is just putting on the show. Chris Dunn has seen the highs and lows of life, and after passing up on an opportunity to go to the NBA last year, has become one of the best players in college basketball and the projected lottery pick. But all of that success has come with a cost. Chris has earned everything he's getting. Nobody's giving it to him. This young man has gone through hell. You always gotta reflect on the past. I mean, the future, you could try to think about it, but it's the past who makes you. It's the past who keep you fighting. It's the past who keep you driven and keep you going and motivating you. Don't ever give up.